Welcome everyone to the wonderful and exciting world of Historia, a fun and crazy interactive show that presents history with a modern twist. Why? Because history repeats itself and you should know it. I will be your moderator for today, Switz our land. And with all of our shows, we remind you to not just to take our word for it, look this stuff up. Got it? Okay, good. Now that we have that out of our system, we got it out of the way, we have a very special show for you tonight. We have a cast from the reality show World World II. Here and up, yep, you guessed it, it's the reunion. Now, this will be broken up into two parts because it's just that much drama in it. And well, you know how much we like drama. So let's start from the beginning. World War II was one of the most defining times in world history. There were high casualties that resulted in a large extermination of a major religious group, great leaps and bounds in technological warfare, and the emergence of superpowers, as well as the rights for women and civil liberties for all. The storyline that trended the most on Twitter was about this one individual man. It's tender yet tragic story about a man's inadequacy with the power. He created his own alternative facts to be seen, admired by millions, playing on the fears of people at the time. He was actually quite ingenious as far as creating the idealistic plan, a plan that dealt with issues such as immigration, modern communism, and economic wealth. In essence, he just wanted to build a better country, a more superior country, and to make it great again. Hmm, where have I heard that from? Before we really get into this, we wanted to find out how much we really knew about the World War II. So uh, we went out and did a survey. Let's take a look. I think it was 1941 that it started and it ended in, God, I don't know, 45? I don't know. I know there's a video game called like 1942, so that I think is that right? 1942. Uh, 1939. A lot. I mean, it was all of Europe. How many countries there? America, Japan. Do you want me to count all the European countries? The U.S. and France, Japan, just the general. Turkey, maybe? Austria? I don't remember much at all. <laughs> Japan, America, Germany, England, France, uh, Italy, uh, I'm sure Austria too, uh, Yugoslavia, oh, Russia, <laughs> um, why nobody Russian forget about World War II? Well, to forget the Nazis, right? I don't forget uh, the injustice that you know they were doing with, with people and trying to control the world. So um, looks like we had some mixed reviews there. Sounds like it's time to lace up our bullet traps and truck right in and meet our first two guests. Let's introduce Big Bad Germany and Sexy Russia in the house. All right, thank you both for joining us today. So, uh, Germany, we hear you're not quite the gentleman. Japan was originally with you. Is that not the case anymore? Look, Switz, Japan and I have what you would call a love-hate relationship. We mostly love to hate each other. Japan could never see the bigger picture when it came to us. I was out making arrangements with other countries, not for myself, but for the greater good of the race. Mm. Japan wanted loyalty, not understanding that Relationships require hard work, much like a business. I felt that I was very upfront with everything. You know, my producers are telling me right now, we actually have footage from a response from Japan about the same situation. Let's take a look. Japan, Japan, we hear that you're in the talks with Germany. What's going on? Are you guys getting back together? <laughs> Germany. Germany is a liar. That's what he is. He would sit there, boldly lie to my face about how he was loyal to me. All while making deals with other countries. So, what do I think about Germany? <laughs> Japan! Wait, wait, wait! Are you guys not getting back together? Japan! Nothing about, nothing else? Yikes, looks like someone disagrees with you. 
A love-hate relationship indeed. He'll be back. So, okay, okay, now, Russia. Both you and Germany are not strangers to one another. How did this twisted affair happen? Well, um, honestly, Swiss, um, Germany was someone I could relate to. We had common interests. Such as? Poland. Um, well, yes, Poland, yes, Poland and power. Um, that's what I'm talking about. Germany just inspires you to be the best, to keep Russia great. Great again? No, 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 no. We were always great. Okay, so how does Poland come into play? Uh, well, Swiss, without getting too much into detail, um, I will say this. It's only right to share when you are both interested. Uh, well, it's getting uh, hot in here. Come to my country and we'll cool you down. <clears throat> uh, okay, right, but getting Poland uh, didn't necessarily go the way you both thought, right? Oh, hey, welcome back. Look, Svitz. <sighs> Poland seemed like a nice, clean, decent country for me to invade. Am I supposed to check every single little country I invade for Jews? I just wanted something nice and clean. I'm, I'm very into that sort of thing. Submission and dominance? <laughs> <laughs> Only dominance, never submission. All right, so, okay, so then Polly wasn't necessarily uh, agreed to your style of dominance. I mean, well, I just, I asked, you know, uh, um, kind of. Well, I mean, okay, Jeremy, we have confirmations from blogs that stated that you intended on creating a super race. <laughs> Was Russia included in that? Is this an interview or an ambush, Fitz? Uh, Germany, I mean, if you can't take the smell of the chambers, well, then maybe you shouldn't turn them on. <sighs> Still too soon, huh? Okay, well, see, on a serious note, we definitely have someone here tonight that doesn't agree with your style of dominance. We're going to take a quick commercial break. If you think the bratwurst are cooking, wait until we see what we have next. The life of a dictator can be quite lonely at times. Though planning my surprise attacks or... Deciding what country to invade next can be quite fun. It would sure be nice to share those special moments with someone. That's why I use Dictators Only. It's the only dating app for people of power, like myself. No longer do I have to pillage small towns or use my assistance for those special moments. Dictators Only, because dictators need love too. Welcome back to the Australia World World II Reunion Part 1. I know you can't wait to find out who our next guest is, so coming to the stage, so let's introduce the UK! <laughs> Welcome, UK. Russia? Germany? Not a fan? Well, point blank, Switz. I just don't like the old bloke. Germany plays on weaker people. They actually think they're better than everyone else. We are. <laughs> See what I mean? Oh my goodness. You know what? They are the type of people who like to come into your flat and take over like they own the place. Mm. Or like a dog who pees everywhere and, and says, this, this is mine. Oh. All right. Do you think you can tell us your relationship to Poland? Poland? Well, let's see. Well, we're from the same pact and where I'm from, it's our duty to protect our own. So if this wanker wants to come into our territory and, 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 and try to take over everything, mm -hmm. then a fight is to be had. Well, okay, well, calm down, okay? I mean, is there any other issues you have with Germany? I mean, I know that we have a very close friend here with us today that involves, uh, well, you know, it's a very close friend of yours. You mean France? Oh, France! Let's talk about France! Well, 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 I get to call on the telly. And, and, and they tell me that, that France has been, has, been, has been injured badly, broken, bruised, and beaten by Germany and one of its flunkies. Well, I tell you, it, 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 in matter of fact, uh, Germany took Poland. And when they took Poland, we knew that we had to just get it together and restore order. 
As a matter of fact, you know, my brothers lasted as long as they could, and this, sir, this is for you. <laughs> you are no gentleman. All right, I uh, guess I kind of deserved that. Okay, we don't, we don't want to upset you anymore, Germany, but we don't want to upset you anymore, but yeah. we do have Italy with us here today. So, to explain their side of the story. So, uh, what do you say, audience? Do we welcome uh, Italy? All right, let's welcome Italy. All right, let's try this again. Welcome Italy. Uh, sorry, folks. I think uh, Italy is not with us here today. Figures. So, let's continue. Well, oh, well, sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. Uh, oh. My Fiat broke down. I couldn't find my Vespa and I had to catch a new, but to get here then, you know, traffic. Ciao, UK. Whoa, whoa, easy, easy, easy. Who put a stick up her cannoli? Oh, looks like, uh, well, welcome, Italy. Seems that you have a little bit of animosity with uh, UK. Well, Swiss, it's all about power, okay? I saw some things that were about to go down. I had to choose the side that would benefit me the most. So that's my buddy Germany here. He made me an offer I could not refuse. I did what I had to do to prove my loyalty, but it came with its obstacles. Such as? Well, so Germany says it's time to do a hit on France. You with me? So I gather my paisans, do the thing, then bada bing, bada boom. France is done. Hmm. It felt freaking amazing. Uh, which uh, we bet it did, but it led to other battles, and uh, such as, uh, well, they led to... Switch, so you got a problem with me? We'll take this outside. Oh, okay, we're just having a friendly conversation here. Germany, you see this? Dummkopf. Me too. Uh, now, Russia, you, you've been quiet this whole time. Uh, were you lonely when Germany was doing its own thing? Switz, so I knew how Germany was before we got together. So, um, I fully intended to have my own side conquests, if you will. The problem was Germany seemed to have so many problems with that. We talk about having a Polish power relationship, uh, but Germany really wouldn't fully agree to the, to the deal. So, I mean, I am Mother Russia. And Mama needed some new pair of shoes. And he didn't want to buy them, so that cover Left me. Oh, side conquest? <laughs> well, um, Pesarabia and North Bukovina. No one stop Russia. I am my own boss. Woohoo! Is right. anyone else right. feeling the heat in here? You might want to join me in the neutral zone. Stay tuned because we have more to come. Welcome back to Historia World War II Reunion Part 1. If you haven't been tuning in, shame on you, because it has been electric in here. Keeping up with the theme of relationships and all of its challenges, we know that sometimes being apart gives you time to get your life in order and to, well, gain more clarity, or for some people, more countries, like our next guest. Let's welcome Japan. Vic, Japan is here? Yes. This is an outrage. I will not stand for the lies of this country, especially Especially after them calling me a liar earlier. This... Uh, Germany is not a pushover! Oh, whoa, 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 Germany! Where are you going? You just can't leave the show! I am a terrific leader who only wanted 
to help make Germany great again by getting rid of all the immigrants to make Germany I, great yeah, again. I understand, Mr. Tr Germany. I understand Germany, but you can't leave the show. You're under contract. You can't get paid unless the show is finished, and the show is not finished, which means you have to go back and finish the show. I was told Japan would not be here. Who told you that? We sent a list to your office weeks ago with all of the guest names. I have not seen such a list. Okay, uh, okay. So we sent it to, uh... Oh, yeah, we sent it to Maria Gonzalez. Yeah. Deutschland with respect to heaven. Right. I don't know. I don't know what that means. So I need you to go back to the show. Otherwise, we have to take you to court. It becomes a legal matter, contract. Take me to court. I have been through much. Right. We know that, and so have we. But I just want to let you know that I do kind of have support. You know, I kind of have like. D-Day support, yeah. So you might want to just go back and sit there and finish the show. Fine. Thank you. Uh, so it's, we're gonna we're gonna go to a commercial break. Yeah. Uh, folks, uh, we're we're going to a quick a commercial break. Don't go anywhere. You don't want to miss what's next. Welcome back to Historia World World II Reunion Part 1. Reunited and it feels so good. All right, sometimes after a heartfelt breakdown between two partners, we are going to resume where we left off. Let's welcome Japan. When, well, someone is bringing sexy back and someone else, tell us what you have to say. Switz, the rumors are true. I now have Indochina. It is a good thing. I am enjoying it. And what were your reasons for adding these extra assets? Well, you see, I was a little, what you call, underweight in this big game of war. And in order to gain some muscle, I needed to take over Indochina. Mm. In order, when I took over Indochina, I would stop the fuel and the arms from reaching China in the battlefield. Because I want China on their knees. Okay, straight into the point, Japan. Um, you definitely caught the eye of someone here to, with us tonight, so, uh, so we thought. <laughs> Well, it's not official, but me and Germany are trying to work on a, uh, what you call, more compatible agreement for the future. Oh, really, Japan? Is that what's going on? Because it would seem that we are not in the works. <laughs> are you referring to the earlier video? Let's get the formalities out of the way, Japan. Shall we? Oh, okay, okay, uh, okay. Oh, you're trying to create a new superpower, huh, Germany? Oh, come on, Switz. We all know there's only one superpower here. Me! Me! All right, so it looks like all of you have something to work out between your relationships. Uh, Japan, so how did you get yourself into this complicated, sticky situation? Or in Italy, how did you get complicated into this situation? Well, um, I might have gotten a little carried away with uh, Greece and Africa. <laughs> you know, I can admit that now. I, I just, I wasn't ready, Switz. My bada bing was not bada booming. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, I knew Germany had my back. Oh. Mm -hmm. Italy, you cannot go and wild out whenever you want when I'm with Churchill and the UK. You have been more trouble than your worth. Germany, fratello, come on. Oh, uh, by the way, I need you to do me a solid. My uh, Uber driver's still outside. He's kind of waiting for me. I didn't have enough money to pay him, so can you... Uh, not right now? Uh, okay. Germany, you <laughs> seem to have so many, your hands in so many things, including Russia. Operation Barbarossa? Oh, does this interview never end? All right, sounds like Germany was trying to cash Russia outside with some uh, X Games. How about that? <laughs> Bro, hanging tight. You don't want to miss where our last guess is. Explosive. Hi, my name is Cheryl Anderson. I'm a visual storyteller. I was definitely the kid that had books everywhere. Everywhere I went, I had a book. Uh, I grew up in Inglewood. One of my favorite places to go was the library. 
Uh, I think I even applied for a job there. I just thought that was like a dream job. Like, oh, I can be around all the books, all the stories. I just kind of felt like that was my safe haven place. Stories have always been a part of my life. What stories did for me was open me up to not only just the world, but just the universe. I was able to transport myself to any place that I could imagine. There's so many possibilities that comes out of a book. It, it's not just what you read on a page, but it's what you can imagine. It's the imagination of it that I really, really love. Books provided me with the adventures and my imagination let it run free. And that's what I really, really enjoyed about storytelling is that you can create, you can become, you can see the unimaginable. It, it, it makes you more creative, it, it inspires you, it makes you want to do more, to be more, to help others, to see it from their point of view. And I think a lot of times, especially in this, this time right now, we're not looking for anyone else's point of view, we're looking at our point of view. And we need to be more sympathetic to how other people live their lives, everyone. So I'm encouraging everyone to pick up a book, read it, enjoy it, pass it on, tell someone else about it. Because you know what? We need to hear your stories too. So let me ask you this, what's your story? Welcome back to the Story of World War II Reunion Part 1. This has been an incredible show that so far, and I know you're anxious to find out who... Alright. Well, I took the liberty of making myself some tea. I knew I was going to need it once I heard Russia say Barbarossa. <laughs> okay, let's just finish what we started with, uh, with Russia. Uh, X Games. Um... Swiss. Germany was uh, has his need to control any and everything he can. That's on Deutschland. Russia speaks now. Oh. I knew he oh. knew I was crazy from the beginning, and no one is the boss of Russia. I would sacrifice my own mother before I submit to Germany. I don't give a blood. <laughs> And by that you mean... Switch, what I mean. You could put me out in rain, sleet or snow, with temperatures of 25 below in a short set, and I would still not surrender my will. <laughs> and that you did, Russia. That you did. Well, in the beginning... See? Your mistake, Russia, hmm. was getting involved with this wanker in the first place, this foolish oh. man from the beginning, thinking that Germany would only focus on one thing at a time. Hmm. Well, you were hoping for a destruction between Germany and I to set your sights on your armies. What you both didn't realize was how powerful we are. Yes, and you see, when you mess with one of our own, we come for your head. But that's none of my business. Huh? Tea, anyone? <laughs> oh, well done, well done indeed. Japan, you don't seem to be without your problems as well. We hear that you run a very tight ship, a very yet combustible ship. And uh, so I heard somebody was getting too close to you. Is that the case? Yeah, Switz, Switz Senpai. We like to be respected. We don't like people messing with our business, meddling with our things. We don't like other people helping each other with their grass, other people on our grass. Just stay on your grass. And by grass, you mean the UK, the Netherlands, and the... We mean grass, Switz. Grass. Okay, and without further ado, let's bring our last guest for this evening, the United States of America! Yeah, yeah. Cheerio, cheerio! Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Good to see you. Right, so USA, you seem to uh, get here very late joining this party. Why was that? Yeah, I mean... We like to just hear about, uh, you know, everything. We don't like to get involved. Oh, you mean you are trying to find a way to make a profit? Meaning we don't like to get our people involved and put them in harm's way, unless we have to. Ooh. Are not some of your citizens without basic necessities? I don't believe that was my question, Germany. <laughs> and aren't you in a fight with your native population about Water and a pipeline and ruining sacred lands? I mean, they are compelling questions. Do you care to respond? 
we believe that all of our citizens have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Citizens. As long as it fares well for our government to provide resources for our military so that we may attack when the opportunity favors us for power or profit. Hmm. If I were you, Germany, I would uh, lay low on that one. You never know when, um, I don't know, a sign might fall from the sky. Oh, I'll be cool. <laughs> You shies up. Leave. I don't stop <laughs> talking again. <laughs> All right, guys, this is such a great show. So, what about Meep Japan? Walk. What's really going on there? Oh, Japan was playing out a turn. We never wanted any altercation with them or anybody, for that matter. We we're just trying to make America great again. Hmm. And what says that you're saying about you get into each other's grass or something like oh, that? Oh, grass. Mm-hmm. Grass. Really? Grass. So you haven't been on their grass? We said stay off our grass. Oh, oh, oh. So Japan is saying we were on their grass, but you know what? I distinctly remember that they were on some of our grass. You stay off our grass. <sighs> okay, wait, wait, wait. So, so you been on their grass? Oh, I think I distinctly remember getting a call about someone invading our western grass area. Stay oh. off our grass. What's happening here, uh, USA? Have you or have you not been on Japan's grass? If we were on their grass, I feel it was though because they were on our grass first. No more on our grass! Okay, USA, is there something you need to tell Japan? Oh, yeah. We warned you not to mess with us. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, hey. Guys, whoa! Whoa, well, that's all! No, oh, that's all the time we have for today. Tune in next week for part two of this drama filled story. It's only getting more exciting. Thank you for joining us in Story of World War II Reunion Part 1. I'm your moderator, Swiss Mordan. A special thanks to our guests Germany, Russia, the UK, Italy, Japan, and the USA. Remember, history repeats itself, so you should know it. Thank you. <laughs>